So hey guys, my name is William. Today's local SEO audit. We're going to be doing a local SEO audit for a self storage unit. That's right, a local SEO audit for a self storage unit. All right, this is Bluebird self storage and several things we got going on here. Right, love the layout, love the look. The, you know how the orange pops and everything. You know there's several issues, right? Several technical issues. And one of the things I like or don't like is I want when I scroll on a website, I want this menu up here to follow. All right. Then you have here all these little things that I know are important. Seven day money back guarantee, virtual tours, speak directly with staff. But it's so tiny, you barely even see it and it doesn't pop out. I personally would want it to pop out and I wouldn't be putting it here. I'd put it down below here make it important number two if we look at your h1 headers you have more than one you have two it's not good right your h1 header home that's that's no good right we want our h1 to be self storage unit and in your case this is for calgary right nothing on here even tells me calgary right if we wanted to go to your actual website and go how many times does Calgary even appear on here? Zero. You know, none. I mean, let's look. Alberta, and you got everybody else, but nothing about Calgary. So we want to fix that. All right. The other thing you got going on here, you want one website attached to one GMB. You want your GMB to shadow or mirror your website and vice versa. You don't want six or seven or even two different GMBs on one website, especially not on the damn homepage and not on the contact us page, right? We want a separate website for each one of these locations. And we want to make that website about that location. Like I'm the number one self storage unit area in Ontario. If you want self storage, you're going to come to Bluebird. Do it! and I'm in Ontario, or I'm in Quebec, or I'm in Nova Scotia, or I'm in New Brunswick, right? You don't want all this over here. Then you want your GMB reviews where I can have them here and they're hyperlinked to the reviews. And I'm gonna give you an example of that. And up here, I want a button that says write a review. Let me give you an example of this. So if we went over to a website, we built sod installation and ranked, you click on write a review, it pops open into a lovely review, wants you to leave a review, right? That's gonna help your click-through rate manipulation whenever it comes to your website. It's gonna make your GMB look good as well, and Google's gonna say, hey, this dude's popular, right? Because when we actually do it, we did a very specific keyword, we attached what was known as the LRD and the CID, which is basically identifiers of the GMB to that location. Next thing we did is, if you look at the actual reviews, we have a review embed. We want that on your website. Then besides that, we also have the text reviews down here. If you click on any of these names, it opens them up to the actual reviewer's profile for the St. Louis area. We want to do the same thing on any and every single website we ever do. Because we want to tie as many nodes back to from the GMB to the website as possible, right? Okay, overall the website's content and everything else looks good. The next thing I would do is I'd go, okay, who is beating me in the area and why are they beating me? So if I went over to, let's just say Quebec, right? And I went Quebec Self Storage Canada, right? Who's the number? three or four people, well, storage marked. And I would then go over to their website, why are these people beating me? I wanna go and go, okay, for just for example, one of the steps, look at their site map and go, how many pages do these people have, right? Sometimes you'll come in and you'll see six, seven, eight, nine hundred pages and then I get content ideas and I rebuild, if you will, the structure of that website right for my own business i do the same thing you know the same exact thing is what i'm going to wind up doing on my site duplicate their their page structure 
duplicate their blogs and then rewrite their blogs, of course, in my own way. You know, I'm gonna look at all those different things. The next thing is your core vitals, Google core vitals, one of the latest algorithm updates that happened in 2021, you fail it, you know, and you gotta pass this. If you don't pass it, it's gonna look terrible. Google Core Vitals basically says, how does your website perform on desktop and on mobile? We wanna get these numbers to pass. And a lot of it has to do with even your hosting and everything, and then reducing CSS, JavaScript, and other things that people are using, especially when they're using templates with WordPress or any website builder for that matter. Um, I can help you out if you'd like for me to help you, just let me know and I would gladly help you. Now, as far as your rankings, your rankings aren't too terrible. Let me pull that up for you. However, mind you saying this, this was only in a two and a half mile radius, right? In a two and a half mile radius, you're not doing too shabby, right? You're in spot three, almost four in a two and a half mile radius, right? But if I expand this out to five miles and 10 miles, you're not ranking whatsoever, which means you're not getting phone calls, you're not getting clients, and you want that to happen, right? I'm gonna send this report over to you. If you have any questions, let me know. And what we can do, I'm even gonna pull this back up for you. Blue, and we're gonna rerun the report. I'm gonna run it with, if you will, um, your updated rankings, etc. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when I say if you got five miles, 10 miles, et cetera. Let's look at it. So we got a blue self storage here. Um, this is actual local Falcon. I also use Lude Snap as well for my GeoGrid reports. Um, but we're gonna repeat the new scan. And I'm gonna show you what I mean once we get out, let's say 20 miles out or 10 miles out or 15 miles out. Let's go ahead and just choose 15 miles out, you know, because you got people from all in that area that you're trying to reach. The problem is if they can't find you in a distance of 10, 15 miles, then you're losing to your competition. What we try to do is we get that geogrid completely green, which means you're ranking in the top three in a two and a half mile radius. Then once we go from two and a half miles, we go to five. Once we go from five, we go to 10, then 20, then so on and so forth. So as you can see from your geogrid already, you're not ranking except for probably right here where your GNB is actually probably located. All outside of that, you're not ranking, okay? So what we want is we want this entire thing to look like a giant green cabbage patch. That way we know we're ranking, we know we're getting phone calls, but the only way you're gonna do that, right, is by fixing all of these issues. Because you have security issues right here, right? You have 68 broken images. You have empty alt text, which means whenever I go to your website and I actually look at the images, what am I seeing when I look at the images? Well. You don't have, you have no alt text, which basically essentially means, let me go ahead and open this image. That image is called Montreal Bluebird. It doesn't tell me nothing about self storage. You haven't used an alt title, so it doesn't tell me any information. An alt title should reflect your keyword. What are you trying to rank for? You know, in your, in your, in your area, you're trying to rank for, if you will, self storage. This is called as you can see right here, home page three, which has nothing to do with self storage. So we wanna fix that as well, all right? Um, I'm gonna send this ranking report over to you as well. Um, if you have any questions, you want help implementing it or anything, just let me know. Like I said, my name's William and I would gladly, gladly, gladly help you. And if you guys have any questions, want me to audit your website, just drop them below. And if you want my spreadsheet on how to do SEO, my stop, drop that below, and I'll give that to you as well. Guys, have a great day and be blessed. I 
so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're 